This is Phil Hood with Drum Magazine. We are at the Summer NAMM Show in Nashville, Tennessee, and I am talking to Elijah from the Dario. Elijah's project product manager for Promark. There's a lot new happening at Promark, and the first thing we're going to talk about is a new stick, a Glenn Coche signature stick, that is one of the most technologically advanced marvels of drumstick manufacturing you've ever heard of. So let's talk about it. All right, so like Phil said, we're introducing the Active Wave 570. This is a unique stick, and working with Glenn Kochi, who's a natural innovator and kind of tinkerer, um, we wanted something that would create a unique comfort handle. So we got the wave handle etched into this stick. To couple that, we've dipped it in the new advanced active grip coating. It's a very thin, a lacquer-like solution, so it doesn't add any unnecessary diameter to the stick. In addition, and the most important, is that it's a heat-activated solution, so as the player continues to sweat and create friction throughout long sets, the grip gets tackier and more grippy. It's a big deal for guys like Glenn Kochi who are playing a lot of outdoor festivals, sweating bullets. It's a really, really excellent implement um, for him, and I think drummer's going to gravitate toward it. It's a unique stick, for sure, and it's a strange-looking stick, but it's one of those that kind of grows on you as you play. Yeah. We're launching medium broomstick at NAMM as well. These, again, will ship August 1st with Glenn Kochi. We currently, in the broomstick family, have the small and the large. The large is a really fat uh, broomstick. You get a lot of great output volume from it, it's a little harder to work with because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, it's thick, you gotta really dig in. The small is thin and nimble, it's a great stick, a great implement, but you don't get as much output volume as you do with the large. So the middle ground in the sweet spot is the medium. So the medium feels and plays most like a drumstick. You get great output volume, but you also get the agility in play because of the diameter. So, something that's unique about these, and Promark is the only company that offers a broomstick, a, 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 an implement like this. This is made out of natural broom corn. With these industrial grade rubber bands, you can change texture and tonality by sliding them down. So you got more brush-like or more stick-like. You got it. So if you want a lighter sound and feel, you can fan it out a bit. It's really great in the studio to experiment with different tonalities. Or if you want to get a little more output volume and kind of focused sound, you go back to basics. Now. These broomsticks are phenomenal on Cajon. We realized that we were doing ourselves a little bit of a disservice by not talking about how useful these are on Cajon. But to get a really great bass sound in the center of the Cajon, you set the rubber band more towards the tip, you really can slug and get that forward throw. Or when you get to the top for the snare side, you can get a really crisp attack. So again, you can experiment with textures and tonalities, but these play really, really well on Cajon. It's a great idea. Great. Okay, I want to talk about one thing now, select balance, because I know some of you out there are a little confused about what's behind the select balance system from Promark. So we've asked Elijah to simplify it and uh, make, make it really understandable what's going on. Yeah. I'll be more than happy to, brother. So with select balance, we introduced this line of drumsticks in five of the most popular diameters from a 7A to a 5B. There are two types in the 5A category. Now, we're big on the conversion to actual diameter. So a 7A is a 535, a 5B is a 595. Now, once you've decided on your favorite diameter, you simply choose between a rebound or a forward balance drumstick. All forward balance models are designed to optimize power and speed, so rock, metal, a blue shuffle, while rebound is designed to optimize finesse and agility. So the jazzes, bebop swingers, funk guys love rebound. What's unique about the line is that once you've chosen your diameter, you have this option of both. And that's special in that you don't have to sacrifice the diameter that you love to change the feel of the stick. So in short, that's what Select Balance was designed to do for drummers and is doing for drummers. And what's great about it is you could switch from a rebound to a forward depending on the gig you're playing. It might be song to song. Some players go hand to hand depending on the feel they're trying to get. So you find that your, your uh, artist 
your endorsers, the people you work with in design, they really like this because they can go for their stick and choose the way it's going to feel. Yes. I mean, a good example of that, if you take Daru Jones of Jack White, uh, also the Rough Pack at Philly. So with the Rough Pack, he might feel more inclined to go with the Rebound 580, which he does. With Jack White, when he's playing more of that power-driven uh, play, he goes for the Forward Balance 580. He's actually one of those rare cases who goes hand-to-hand -hand in some cases with Jack. Uh, he just finished up the tour, but he'll go right hand, rebound, left hand, forward, just to try different things, approach the groove a little differently. And when you're feeling bored, it's something that can really inspire you to kind of change what you've been approaching or how you've been approaching uh, normally. All right, so there you have it. If you've been confused about select balance, Elijah just set you straight.